Here's an update on that collapsing lake drain culvert. This is what it looked like one week ago, and here's what it looks like now. All filled in with rocks and debris and barely even flowing. Hey everyone, I'm back on site of the lake drain culvert. I was here about a week ago showing it starting to collapse. And today, it is once again clogged up, but it is working. We're not going to be unclogging this thing anymore. Right now, the Department of Transportation's on site. That's their vehicles over there. There's a few more trucks down the street. They're taking a look at the thing today. So I'm actually waiting for the local news to come here, and they're going to make a story of this. They're supposed to be here within the hour. So I'm going to give a little story about how I started doing this. I was passing by on the street about three years ago. It was actually flooded out because this thing jammed up and it started overflowing right there. So basically when it overflows, it floods the road here, goes through the bridge to get to the other side of this. Now somewhere here I think is a sinkhole collapsing. That's how this whole thing started from me reporting it. Now I don't know if DOT is here because I reported it or because the news reported it. So basically when that thing flooded, somebody came out here. I saw them with a heavy machinery. They lift the grate off of this thing and that thing went flooding into there. It drained back down within an hour. The other end of this thing, on that day, it was coming out like a jet. But again, that was three years ago, before I was on YouTube, before I had my cameras and everything. So ever since, the city has said it was okay if I was here to clear this. I have been clearing this thing every single month for the past three years, except in winter. Winter, this whole thing freezes up and doesn't even work. So, let's see what happens with the news. They should be here shortly, within the next hour. And by the looks of this thing, you see how there's leaves up here? This thing has not flooded in a while. So it looks like the culvert actually opened up again, because last time I was out here, you could tell the collapse made it back up a bit. But, so this is the debris from the last few months. That's from about the past year. And that there is back before I started doing it, that huge pile. So this is something that's been going on for a very long time. Let's get a quick look at the street so we can see what's happening out here. This is a, like a mud pool here because a lot of fishermen come out here. And actually, oh, look at that. We had beavers here in the past week doing a lot of chewing. Now, the beavers don't seem to ever mess with that. That's because they have dams out here. Actually, the DOT owns 20 feet out into the water. This whole thing is their property where people go fishing. So when that thing flooded three years ago, this road here, it wasn't a ton of water, just a few inches. It went through this road. So that's one of the DOT's pickup trucks there. They just climbed over this fence and are looking around up on the highway now. And over here are some more DOT vehicles. That's what it says on there. Now this place here, I can't always do updates on this because I live about an hour away from this location. I come here just to stop it from flooding. So I'm unable to always get out here and just do updates. Like everyone wanted me to come out here and do an update the next day. I can't always do that. So it looks like the DOT is actually going to do something now and I'm very happy about that. After all the people I called, this is finally going to get fixed. Because the issue is corrugated pipe that's metal even galvanized does not last long it falls apart so fast and this thing I, I actually went inside that thing when I was a kid playing around like five something years ago and it was rusting then but now that it has holes rusted through it and the water constantly flowing through it is just ripping it apart it's got to be replaced it actually just started pouring a lot of rain so this is called Shearer Street in Palmer, Massachusetts, and above us is the on and off ramp for the Mass Pike. Okay, so I just spoke with the news, and they're going to do a story about this. And there's a whole bunch of these DOT vehicles now. The guys have climbed down here to look at the end of the pipe. There's a whole bunch of guys up here on the top. They've now shut down one lane of the ramp because they're going to be using ground penetrating radar to try to find the sinkhole wherever it is so the news walked down here to see exactly what was going on on the other side here it's a bit muddy 
but a big improvement to what it usually is. Usually this place is an absolute mud pit, but today it was actually kind of accessible. Usually it requires tall boots to get out to this location, but not today. I might not come back out here again until the new pipe is in. Oh wow, that thing is eroding. Look at all that. The whole thing is full of sand. Wow, the thing is full of sand. Okay, let's get a look at the other side of this thing. A lot of footprints from the guys looking at it. Oh, this is worse than I when I was here last week. Look, the whole pit filled in with sand. Look at that thing, it is barely running. Okay, we're gonna get a quick look of what's inside of this. Is this stable to stand on? Okay, the whole thing pretty much collapsed. Yeah. Whole thing is full of sand, so. And there we go up there. We have a bunch of guys on the hill checking it out. So I am very happy. It looks like this issue is going to be resolved. Hopefully they replace the entire pipe and put a better catch basin on the other side because that thing clogs up at least once a month or every big storm, which I've seen it clog up overnight if we have a big storm. I'm glad this problem is actually going to be fixed. So the other side, they're probably not gonna put what they have. The grate on the other side is actually designed to catch debris, but they're not doing their job of clearing it off. I've been taking care of this thing ever since the DPW gave me permission to. Turns out the DPW doesn't even own the thing. But hopefully their new one has a better grate that doesn't clog up. So maybe I'll get another update on this in a few months. Again, I'm not from this area, so that's usually why I come out here once a month. If I actually lived around here, I'd be at this thing a couple times a week. Can't see anything here. Let's get one more look at the other side before we're done with this. This bridge here actually looks new. Look at the concrete. It's... So when they put this new bridge in, why didn't they replace the other side? That's what I'm wondering. They should have replaced the culvert along with it because all it did is cause them a big headache now. Look at that. There's another vehicle over there now. One final look at the other side of this thing. We have another massive clog here. The DPW does not own this, it's the DOT. They actually gave me a big thank you today, a few of the guys, for bringing this problem to their attention. It was actually the news that called the DOT telling them about this today, which prompted them to get out here. So it appears that my calls just were kind of being ignored to an extent because I called about this in the summer and they never came out. Even the guys said today they never got this call into their office. So the person on the phone just wasn't taking me seriously. Is that, That's my impression. But the guy told me that I don't have to clear this thing anymore. This thing is now going to be looked after and most likely the entire thing is going to be replaced. The culvert in the ground, because the thing is rusted out, usually they can sometimes put an inner sleeve inside the thing so it prevents them from excavating the whole hill. But in this situation, because they let it go so long, there's probably a sinkhole here. They're trying to find it now with ground penetrating radar if they're unable to find it this entire hill is going to have to be excavated meaning the palmer on ramp will be closed for a while they actually just repaved the palmer on ramp two years ago and they didn't even check this stuff this makes me think if this is in that bad condition imagine how many thousands of other ones are decaying like this it's a lack of funding a lack of paying people to be able to come out and do this stuff so if you see something like this report it so this is usually where it floods a lot of mud here 
This is usually fishermen coming in and out of here. Sh probably should have wore my boots today. My feet are a little bit wet. Oh well. Okay, we're all clear. Okay, that's good. There's three vehicles over here for DOT. Let's go for a little walk down the street now. There's something I want to show over here to the left. People often ask me, why do I do this if this isn't my responsibility or job? I do it for public safety. If there's a flooded street and I'm able to clear, I'm going to do it because someone could hydroplane going through that. Because people, a lot of them are idiots and they speed going through the stuff as proven in a lot of my videos. Now this right here across the street we can't go in here because it's an abandoned property and there's no trespassing signs everywhere but this is an abandoned place here when that thing clogs up right there down the street this property because it's low actually floods they don't use it anymore some people say it's an old ice building to me it looks like an auto shop because it has a bunch of doors there and let's go down the street a little bit more and we can take a look at the few houses I was talking about now these houses are built pretty high up so even if that thing did jam up, it'll flood the road and go around the bridge before it would ever actually go into their houses. But they do lose a little bit of shoreline when the thing does go up. You know, it intrudes into their backyard. Actually, what I'm thinking about now, because that thing was so filled with rocks, imagine the time I actually filmed the inside of that thing. I wouldn't even fit in there anymore. There's so much ground. And last time I was out here last week, all that rock wasn't there, so that thing's been hard at work the past week. I'm glad they finally did something. I'm continuing to walk down the street in Palmer because I actually parked in here at the Ocean State job lot far away from the scene because there's a whole bunch of their vehicles there. I didn't want to get, what do you call it, cornered in, get locked in around vehicles. But actually coming down here, I'm able to show you something. So right here is the Big Y and Ocean State Plaza, right? This is the stream beneath the road right here that feeds the pond. Let's get down here and we're going to take a look at... Oh, there's a lot of trash. This could be one of my cleanups in the future, this area. I'm going to have to check for ticks. Look at all this junk. Now, is this like a marshland? You get a lot of ticks in here. So look at this pipe. Oh, never even knew that pipe was so big. And look at that one. That one's just as bad. Look at that. They just don't take care of stuff. Look at all that rust. So those two things are from storm drains. That one must handle multiple ones. This handles the stream. Okay, the pipe itself isn't as bad as the lake drain, but most of this is probably from road salt rotting out the pipe. I have checked out the, the other side of this in the past. You can't see the other side. It's like blocked like the entire embankment caved in but this here isn't as big of a hazard because if this was to start eroding the road what's it you're gonna erode a few feet and the speed limit here is only i think 35 so the risk is very low here and like i'm saying the inside of the pipe looks fine it's just the end here like in winter when they throw road salt all over the place so this is the stream that feeds it and this water is all collected from these mountains here these parking lots so those parking lots produce a lot of water in the rain and when that thing sheds this thing blasts out like a jet and when it goes down to that clogged drain it has nowhere to go so that's where the problem is created the bigger pipe that I just said looks like it handles a lot of drains goes to this reservoir where the parking lot drains into which is broken you see that thing there? That's supposed to be facing up. This thing is supposed to fill with water. It's not all supposed to just go in. So that thing is busted. Look at that. Palmer man voicing his concerns over a culvert built directly under a Mass Pike overpass in the town. Well, he says a drainage problem through the culvert could open up a sinkhole underneath the overpass if something isn't done in time. And he spoke exclusively to Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo, who's digging deeper on the issue.
All of this debris is stuff that you've cleared out yes. of the drain. All this is from me. This Palmer resident Palmer tells Western Mass News he's been clearing this lake drain on Shearer Street once a month, minus the winter. This in particular drained three years. He doesn't want to be identified by name, but rather his YouTube channel posts 10. He says making nature videos is his hobby, but this particular culvert on Shearer Street is starting to concern him. So I've been doing it to stop the road from flooding. Uh, this thing here is something new I discovered in the past few months. He said he became really concerned when he saw clear water entering through one channel and dirty, muddy water coming out the other side, right underneath an I-90 overpass. The corrugated pipe in the ground is falling apart. It has holes rusted through it. So soil from beneath the highway is able to get washed out and I'm concerned it's causing a sinkhole of some type. Western Mass News looked at who owns the culvert and found it's the Mass DOT. But the lake itself appears to be owned by a private LLC, according to Palmer's assessor website. We attempted to contact them but couldn't find a working number. We reached out to the Mass DOT in the morning for a statement, and hours later when our cameras arrived at the culvert, we found their crews around the pipe. I would suggest that a full culvert assessment is done. We showed footage of the culvert to a civil engineer at Foss and O'Neill in Springfield. Eric Bernardin says it's common for that type of culvert to show wear and tear after a few decades. Rusting and then breakdown of the pipe does happen. Today we use a lot more high density polyethylene, a black plastic, or or reinforced concrete are the two most common materials that last significantly longer. But Bernardin says a gargantuan sinkhole appearing overnight is not likely. It will be a smaller hole and it won't like go from a small hole to a very large hole that would swallow a car, you know, in a matter of minutes or days. It'll take longer than that. He also cautions people against taking matters into their own hands when it comes to clearing drains by themselves. They are considered confined space and you should be adequately trained. Post 10 says he's trying to make waves because he's seeing something and wants to say something before someone gets hurt. If I just left this there and that road collapses, like, I'm just saying it's dangerous. And Would you feel guilty if you knew that this is That was Audrey Russo reporting. Western Mass News is still waiting for a reply from the Mass DOT. A massive safety hazard for the ramp going onto I-90 up there. I'm Audrey Russo and I'll have his concerns just ahead.